시공간 초월과 이십억 응답이 가능한 얘기냐? Is the transcendence of time and space in a 25-hour answer possible? 어떤 사람들은 뭐 이십억은 뭐냐 이렇게 합니다. And some people might even ask the question, "What does 25 hour mean?" And in some ways, these two things mean the same thing, but people might ask, "Is this even possible?" 그런데 예수님께서는 모든 족속에 가라 이랬습니다. However, we see Jesus commands us to go to all nations. 불가능하잖아요. But that's impossible. 예수님께서는 이걸 얘기했어요. But what Jesus is speaking about is this transcendence of time and space. He says, "All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me." And that's precisely this. He says, "All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me." And it was an age where there were no airplanes, and yet he says to go to all nations. Then is this possible? 할머니 한 사람이 손녀에게 세상 사람들이 할수 없는 얘기를 해준 겁니다. There was an elderly woman who said to her granddaughter something that the people of the world could not possibly imagine to do. 그뭐 선생님이 한게 아니고 할머니가 손녀에게 계속 세상 사람들 전혀 해줄 수 없는 얘기를 계속. This was not a lesson taught by an instructor or teacher. A grandmother told her granddaughter something that the people of the world could not. 하나님이 너와 함께 하시고. 뭐 이런 계속적인 얘기를 쉽게 말하면 이 비밀을 얘기해 준 거예요. Could not even imagine. In other words, he should continue to tell her that God is with you. In other words, it was a contents of this transcendence of time and space. 그 손녀는 아무도 안 해주는 얘기를 할머니가 했다니까요. And so this granddaughter heard words that nobody ever spoke to her except for her grandmother. 그래서 교회에서 우리 원로 되시는 분들 또 우리 많은 나이 많은 할머니들 이런 분들의 기도를 그 예사로 생각하는 사람 많아요. 굉장히 중요합니다. There are a lot of people who consider very lightly the prayers of our elderly people of uh, elderly um, like our grandmothers here, but we cannot look so lightly upon it. 그 할머니에게 들은데 세계를 바꾼 인물이 크로스비입니다. And the person who heard these words from her grandmother, who later went on to change the world, was Fanny Crosby. Crosby는 소경이 돼서 아무도 갈 수도 없고 할 수도 없는 상황인데 하나님 말씀을 계속 얘기. She was blind. She could not do very much, and she could not go anywhere. And yet, her grandmother continued to instill in her the word of God. 이 지금 이 다름을 모르면 거의 예수님이 하신. And if you don't understand this, then you cannot fathom the contents, the final message of Christ. 하나님 나라 이를 사십일 설명 그거 하고 가시고요. We see Jesus explain things pertaining to the kingdom of God for forty days, and then he left. 도대체 이게 내하고 관계 없단 말이에요. 그러니까 응답이 나의 사실 없는 거죠. But if this has nothing to do with me, then in fact there can be no answers in my life. 그래서 이게 시공간 초월이요 이십오입니다. And that's why this transcendence of time and space, that itself is 25 hours. And only when we enjoy this, does this become possible. Without this, how can we do world organization? How can we go to all nations? How can we go to the ends of the earth and to all the nations? Ends of the earth. How is that even possible at that time? Then does that mean that Jesus spoke nonsensical words? Not at all. Then we come to the answer of what kind of prayer we must pray today. There are conditions by which this answer of transcendence of time and space comes to us. First of all, you and I cannot transcend time and space. 그러나 성삼위 하나님은 시공간 초월하는 존재예요. However, the triune God is an entity, is a being that transcends time and space. 지금도 세 가지를 하고 있어요. And even now, he is doing three, three things. Even now, he works with the power of creation through his word. Even now, he carries out his work of redemption, of salvation. 
여러분과 함께 하고 계세요. And even now unseen to our eyes, he works upon us by his Holy Spirit. 이 부분을 교회가 안 믿으니까 내피림 운동하는 사람들이 세계를 장악해 놓. But because the church does not believe this, the people engaged in the Methuselah movement are now sweeping over the world. Of course, it's too much to say perhaps that the church does not believe it, but they don't see it with great value. Immediately, you, you even look at believers. When they're faced with a problem, they speak as though God does not exist. 뭐 조금 기다리면 될 건데 전혀 못 기다려. They just need to wait a little bit, and yet they cannot do so at all. 왜냐? 안 믿어지니까. Why? Because they don't find this believable. 어좀뭐좀 뭐, 이렇게 잘못한 사람 보여도요. 좀 기다리면 용서해 주고 기도해 주면 되는데 못 기다려. If there are people who have erred, we should be able to wait for them, to forgive them, and to pray for them. We just cannot wait. 또좀 모질은 사람 있잖아요. 그 사람 좀 도와주면서 기다리면 될 건데. There are also some people with lackings or weaknesses, but we just cannot bear with them. Even when a very trivial problem comes our way, we just cannot wait it out. And that's why we continue to concern ourselves with things that we don't need to worry about at all. But the triune God, He does not change. And that's why we continue to lose this mental realm. We see that the churches, the schools, all the fields of the world, they've been conquered by this transcendental meditation movement. But that's because we don't believe this. You must believe this. When we first began our church in Busan, grandmothers gathered together to pray every day. And those grandmothers had no physical strength to speak of. From a worldly sense, they had nothing, no, no, no strength to boast of. What was their greatest ardent desire? It's to get on a bus with Reverend Yu and go to play somewhere. So ignorant fools will look at those people and say, what can those people be capable of accomplishing? But that, that's a mistake. Do you think national assemblymen will come and pray in that place? Think about that. Do you think movie stars and celebrities will come and pray like them? But these elderly grandmothers 그렇죠. gathered every day to pray. And people are completely oblivious of the spiritual changes that arise in the spiritual realms. And so even in our church, there were people, church officers were very shrewd, and so they would buy these grandmothers snacks so that they would always gather together to pray. How can we have transcendence of time and space? We are incapable of doing this, and yet this takes place through God's word. And third, what is it? We are incapable of transcendence of time and space, but through prayer it is possible. How amazing is that? And then, what about the word? It is the word of creation. What is the word? It is a word that breathes life into us. And it revives our soul. What's even more important is a word that completely transforms our spiritual uh, state. That's what you must hold on to. Otherwise, why would you give your worship? And then what is prayer? It, it completely moves the throne of heaven. And that's why transcendence of time and space becomes possible. It's a sure answer. And that's why even if you possess nothing, simply by the word and through prayer, you can have this platform, you can have the watchtower by which you can save people, and you can also have this antenna by which you can heal everyone. 자, 이 축복을 믿고 누리면 나에게 하나님의 나라 if you believe and enjoy this blessing, that's when God's kingdom comes upon you. And that itself is transcendence of time and space. 
These are not my words. These are the words of Jesus. 얘기도 지나가면서 하는 얘기가 있고 중요하게 하는 얘기가 있잖아요. And 그렇죠? even in the conversations that we have, there are conversations we have in passing, and those that we have hold great value in. 뭐 예수님은 그냥 뭐 식사하시다 장난삼아 한 얘기가 있고요. 사람을 불러놓고 한 얘기가 있다. There were words that Jesus spoke as he was passing through. There were also words that Jesus spoke. He gathered the crowds together and he spoke to them with great value. 자칫 잘못하면 기독교인들과 교회는 예수님이 말씀한 중요한 거에는 전혀 관심이 없어요. But we see that with one misstep, all Christians in the churches, we lose sight of what Jesus spoke of most importantly. And he spoke of this for 40 days, in fact. You must absolutely receive this blessing. And when this takes place, three things are established in us. Perhaps this terminology is too difficult. Let's explain it in an easier way. Platform, a place where people have no choice but to come. What is this watchtower? Because you shine forth the light, people have no choice but to be healed. What about the antenna? And now you have no choice but to have that communication with God and His Word. I'm just using this terminology, but the conclusion, the answer is the same. That comes upon me. 영적 문제 있는 사람 걱정하지 마시고 이게 만들어져 뿌리면 정상적으로 차츰 차츰 제대로 고쳐져요. And if you have spiritual problems, don't worry at all. When this becomes established upon you, slowly and progressively, you will be healed. 그래서 자꾸만 이제 안 고쳐지는 이유는 이 부분이 안 들어가고 다른 게 자꾸 들어가는 거예요. The reason you're not receiving healing is because instead of these things, other things continue to take root inside of you. That's why. 그래서 그렇다면 이게 들어갈 수도 조금 바꿔주는 걸 도와줘야 돼요. Then we need to help those people and assist them so that they can change themselves a little bit so that this can be established upon them. That sounds impossible, but it is very possible because when this answer comes upon you, it is more than possible. Then what will happen? From this point on, and tremendous things will begin to take place. The blessing of the throne is manifested and this comes upon you. 393. Then as you know very well, the things the people of the world do not know about begin to take place in your life. The mobilization of the heavenly armies, these things sound like it's almost dreamlike, but these things actually come to fruition. 모든 것이 문제였는데 이 축복을 받고 보니 답이라. Before everything was a problem for me, but after receiving this answer, everything is an answer. 나는 응답이 없는 줄 알았는데 하나님이 나를 응답 안 주는 것처럼 말하는데 갱신식이. I thought that God was not giving me any answers, but rather that was an opportunity for my own renewal. 과거에 내가 응답 없는 줄 알아서 알고 봤더니 하나님 나를 바꿔 주고. In the past, I thought I was devoid of all answers, but that was actually God changing me. 어려움 있은 거 보인데 왜 나만 어려움 당합니까 이랬는데 알고 봤더니 그게 기회라. When confronted with hardships, you would often say, "Why do I only face hardships?" But rather, that is an opportunity. 자 이때부터 신공원 작업을 하는 세계 보호마가 일어나는 겁니다. And from this moment on, the works of world evangelization that transcends time and space begin to take place. 그래서 사실상 알고 보면은. So where should you place your standard? Evangelism is the easiest thing. It's most difficult for you now, right? But that's a distance that you have with, with this evangelism. Why is it easy? And these are my personal sentiments, and I may be wrong. And I may be wrong, but I don't really. I would prefer for the people who are evangelizing in the train stations to not do so. Of course, there are people who receive the gospel that way. But my my personal sentiments, and though I may be wrong, I wish they would just stay home. Because true evangelism is not is not like that. 여러분이 어느 날 보니 내 옆에 하나님의 말씀이 필요한 어려운 사람이 보인다 말이야. 
One day you open your eyes to see that there's somebody who needs God's word, who is enduring great hardship right next to me. Then why should you not speak of this? Or one day these people come to you. Just tell them the answer then. Why is that hard? So that, we're speaking nonsensical words. And that's how world organization becomes possible. It may appear as though your unbelieving family members are persecuting you, but it's not just simple persecution. They're watching you the entire time. You go to some organizations and there's some people who do bizarre things, but as they do so, they continue to watch you. And one day when they're confronted with a great hardship, they will come to you. Then you speak of this to them. We continue to be deceived. There's no need for that. I shared this, this with you before, but before my daughter was going to university, and for her to graduate, to fulfill her graduation requirements, she would have to go on site and have some work experience. And so she had the opportunity to go and intern at this very good um, company here in Korea, one of the best. And that really was God's grace for her. But she contacted me and she said, I just can't do this anymore. I asked why. And she was saying, well, because they keep making me do things and run errands. That they, it's not my job description to go and make them coffee. That's not my work experience. And I said to her, that you're saying that because you don't know. They're gauging to see whether you're capable or not. <laughs> and she understood my words. And later on, they had such a favorable impression of her that they would give her gifts and they kept calling her for more work. It may appear as though it's persecution, but it's not the case at all. They're watching you the whole way through. Don't be deceived. And the answer is this, the seven remnants. He looked at Joseph and he knew God. How could it be that Joseph could go to the head of the military and he could share this with them? Even Saul, who was chasing after David to take his life, looked at David and knew God. There are many examples in the Bible, so when you have some time, go through and read through the, these passages. This is what I want to speak of the most with you, though. These are the words that David, who received the greatest prayer answers, said. Psalm 103, 20-22, David says, You mighty ones who do his word. You angels and all his hosts, his ministers who do his will. And from King Saul's perspective, these, these words have no value at all. Money is everything. Why are you speaking such unnecessary words? That's thinking of King Saul. Position, lofty positions are the best. But who perished? King Saul was destroyed. And David, who spoke, quote, unquote, these foolish words, he conquered the world instead. And he says, all of you in all places of the Lord's dominion. What does that, what does that mean? In his dominion, when you pray, when you give your worship, that's what this means. And it says, all and all of you, in other words, he's talking about both his angels and all his hosts as well. 
When you pray, there's full mobilization of his heavenly armies. When you give your worship, they are fully mobilized. And you might say, why is it working for me? But that's not the case at all. You're people of God. God is just waiting it through so you can change yourself and be healed. And you ask, why isn't this working for me? Because you're people of God. If it's unnecessary and wrong answers, he will not give it to you. He will give to you the genuine things instead. So don't be deceived. So we must enjoy the kingdom of God. When we go to the field, we will absolutely be able to see God's plan. And as you continue to enjoy these blessings, what will happen? You will first see the answers in advance. That's all it takes. And what's even more important is you don't need to worry. Why? Because healing takes place. And doctors, they can help you to treat you, but God is the one who heals our fundamentals. God has already prepared the answers, and then he has called you. That's why we just simply need to pray. And healing means it's a fundamental healing of all the things we have inside of us. And then from this point on, now you'll be able to see the path unfold before you. And because you're taking this path that you can already see, it's not just a simple path. It's not a matter of choice. It's an absolute path you must take. Perhaps there are people faced with hardship right now, but this may be the time schedule of absolute blessings for you. But it's a little bit hard to endure. That's why God has given to us a strength of prayer. That's why he gives you spiritual blessings. I bless you in the Lord that you may receive true grace and healing in this time of worship today. God, we thank you. May today be a time in which we receive great strength. A time in which even the illnesses we are not aware of are healed. May all problems and hardships we face transform into your blessings. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.